Good day to all and welcome to this webinar on test and measurements in MATLAB and Simulink. My name is Praneet Kala and I'm an application engineer at Optimum Solutions. In today's presentation, you will discover various capabilities of a few MathWorks tools that can help you to acquire data and automate tasks. I will start by giving you a short introduction and then move on to four key toolboxes that can be used for test and measurement. The MATLAB environment for analysis provides the tools you need to acquire data and automate tasks. Within MATLAB and Simulink, you can control and acquire data from plugin data acquisition boards, test instruments, web cameras and frame grabbers, as well as send and receive messages over CAN buses. Once you acquire data, you can interactively explore it and perform live visualization and data analysis. You can then build test systems, verify designs and concepts, and automate repetitive tasks. You can also deploy test applications built in MATLAB onto other computers. Typically, there are three stages to follow when it comes to test and measurement. Communicating with hardware and instruments, analyzing your test data, and automating tests and building test applications. In this webinar, part one, we will be focusing on the first stage, which is communicating with hardware and instruments. Using MATLAB or Simulink and related products, you can control and acquire data from data acquisition hardware, imaging hardware, instruments, or CAN buses. You can also communicate with circuit boards and sensors using SPI, I2C, and a few others. You can then visualize and analyze the data without leaving your workspace. The Data Acquisition Toolbox. I'm sure everyone will agree with me that data is the new model that is being mined by many companies. The more data we have, the more we know and the more we can do. The first toolbox I'd like to discuss is the Data Acquisition Toolbox. This toolbox provides a direct interface from MATLAB to a wide range of standard data acquisition cards. Specifically, it provides support to analog input output and digital input output. You have direct access to voltage, current, IEPE accelerometers and thermocouple measurements, as well as live acquisition of measured data directly into MATLAB. One point I'd like to raise here is that our interface to all the supported hardware is consistent, not only across one vendor's board, but for all supported hardware. This means that applications you develop on one board can be used on another. It also means that you do not need to learn a different set of commands for each vendor. One of the new enhancements in R2017B is the ability to acquire and visualize analog input signals using the Analog Input Recorder app. The basic setup or workflow for data acquisition is shown by the right arrow. The left side of the slide shows a conceptual view of how your data flows to and from the sensors and actuators into MATLAB. Typically, you have a real-world data that comes from some type of sensor. It could be a thermocouple, a strain gauge, an accelerometer, or a pressure transducer like a microphone. You want to analyze the data, so you need to bring it into MATLAB, where you can easily process, plot, or visualize it. The Data Acquisition Toolbox software interfaces with the proprietary vendor driver software through a MATLAB adapter. The MATLAB adapter is included with the toolbox for many different data acquisition boards. Once the adapter is installed, you are ready to use the common interface to your hardware that the toolbox provides. Here is a list of some of the supported data acquisition hardware. Depending on your preference and affordability, you have quite an extensive range to choose from. Moving on to the next toolbox, which is the Image Acquisition Toolbox. The Image Acquisition Toolbox provides functions and blocks that enable you to connect industrial and scientific cameras to MATLAB and Simulink. It includes a MATLAB app that lets you interactively detect and configure hardware properties. The toolbox enables acquisition modes such as processing in the loop, hardware triggering, background acquisition, and synchronizing acquisition across multiple devices. This toolbox lets you generate a C code interface to a deployable library for the Simulink block. This enables you to design a video system and integrate acquisition functionality into your own applications without having to perform low-level coding with hardware drivers. Here are some of the main MATLAB functions that are used for device configurations, acquisition using any hardware, 
and previewing images. In the image shown on this slide, we have created a model to detect the edges of objects from a live stream. The image acquisition app enables you to work with image and video acquisition devices and is well suited for interactive configuration of cameras. You can browse all hardware devices available on your computer, change device settings, select a region of interest, preview an acquisition, acquire images and video, and record data. A preview window helps verify and optimize your acquisition parameters by automatically reflecting any adjustments made to camera properties in the video stream. The image acquisition app serves as a starting point in the development of automated and custom image acquisition and processing systems. The image acquisition toolbox supports all major standards and hardware vendors. You can connect to 3D depth cameras, machine vision cameras, and frame grabbers, as well as high-end scientific and industrial devices. Moving on to the third toolbox, which is the instrument control toolbox. The next key toolbox to have for test and measurement is the instrument control toolbox. It is great to have when coupled with a data acquisition toolbox. This toolbox lets you connect to MATLAB directly to instruments such as oscilloscopes, function generators, signal analyzers, power supplies, and analytical instruments. The test and measurement tool enables you to communicate with and configure instruments without writing code. It also provides functions for creating objects in MATLAB that contain properties related to the instrument and to the instrument control session. The toolbox facilitates hardware selection and configuration for use in Simulink models. The toolbox connects to your instruments via instrument drivers such as IVI and VXI plug and play, or via text-based SCPI commands over commonly used communication protocols. The transfer data can be binary or ASCII. Following a similar workflow to the acquisition toolbox, following the blue arrow on the right, you can see that highlighted section, MATLAB drivers, needs to send data to the interface driver software in order for the workflow to be correct. This toolbox supports communication with instruments and devices directly from MATLAB through commonly used communication protocols, instrument standards, and drivers. The toolbox provides a consistent interface to all devices independent of interface, hardware manufacturer, or instrument type. Finally, the last toolbox part of this webinar is the Vehicle Network Toolbox. The Vehicle Network Toolbox provides connectivity to CAN devices from MATLAB and Simulink using industry standard CAN database files. The toolbox provides MATLAB functions and Simulink blocks to send, receive, encode, and decode CAN, J1939, and XCP messages. Some new features that came out in R2017B that are worth mentioning are the CAN FT protocol, which allows you to send and receive messages with MATLAB using the CAN FT protocol, and the MDF data store that lets you work with large MDF file collections that might not fit in memory. The vehicle network toolbox lets you interact directly with a CAN bus from MATLAB or Simulink. You can execute toolbox functions from the MATLAB command line and through MATLAB programs. The toolbox also contains Simulink blocks that enable you to connect a Simulink model to a CAN bus. The vehicle CAN bus monitor displays live CAN message traffic. Use the CAN tool to view message traffic using selected CAN device and channel. You can also save messages to a log file via this tool. In terms of connectivity, you can connect through third-party hardware devices. There is a common API and block set regardless of vendor or device model for bi-directional CAN messaging. All of this can be configured and set up by following the steps in hardware support package wizards. And to end off the presentation, just a call to action, which brings us to the end of the webinar. If you wish to trial out the software, you can contact one of the business development consultants or sales reps by emailing sales at optimum.co.za. If you are ready, already using the tools or have any technical questions, you can email our support queue 
at support at optimum.co.za. If you'd like to attend a training course to build your proficiency with using MATLAB and Simulink in your field, you can visit our website and navigate to the training course page. I hope that you found the webinar useful. Please leave all your comments and questions below. Thank you for watching. Cheers.